Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of Fireside. That smokiness, guys, of the lap song, it's so good, so good. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today. I think my next cup will be stormy weather. That'll help out a lot. Anyways, I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee. We talk tech, talk photo, talk video on this channel. Today is going to be a tech video. We're talking about Starlink and how I found out that the Starlink Ethernet adapter that I had was defective and how was it handled by customer service. So hopefully this helps you out to figure out if you have a defective dongle, as I call it, which is that Ethernet adapter. If you have a Generation 1 Starlink unit, you do not need this dongle. You do not need the adapter. So this is not going to be an issue for you. But if you have a Generation 2, this could be an issue and probably generations going forward because everything is dongle-fied these days. I don't know. I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. I think Apple started this whole dongle-fication of everything. There's a dongle for everything. Just throw it into the machine itself. God. Anyways, before we get into a backstory, I want to say that if you haven't downloaded any of my ebooks as of yet, go check them out. Go over to jchristina.com forward slash books. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash books. Also, if you're here only for Starlink, all right, I put together a playlist. If you go over to the actual channel itself, if you go to youtube.com forward slash jchristina, you will see a playlist that's specifically for Starlink. Everything Starlink, all of the videos that I've did. I teach you helpful tips, tricks, how to's, things to buy, things not to buy, when to buy them, how many to buy, so on and so forth. So check that out. If you're here for photo and video, just hang out. Maybe tomorrow will be photo and video. So let's get into this. I want to tell you the backstory real quick. So I was starting to get spontaneous, just sporadic outages, right? Where all of a sudden just it's an outage or some type of low speed or something. And I was like, what is going on? I was thinking maybe it's the service itself. And it progressively got worse, guys. It progressively got worse. And I'm like, you know, this is not normal. Usually Starlink has been really solid for me, especially as of late. We went from having a slew of outages where it actually says that it cannot communicate or can't connect or whatever to having almost none. And sometimes actually none for 12 hour periods at a time. That's just amazing. So I knew there was something had to be going on here. So I said, before reaching out to technical support, I want to do some research to pinpoint what the problem is so I know what the heck I'm talking about. So when I ask them a question, I am educated, so to speak, right? I think everyone should do that. A lot of times people go into technical support just willy-nilly, and then tech support has to write you back 86 times asking you specific questions. Do your research first. So when you go in there, you ask them one question and that's it. They can answer it or they can fix it right away. I think that's very important. Anyways, these outages, once again, were happening sporadically. And one outage happened and I saw that it was like an actual full outage where there was nothing going on at all. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go and pull open the app on my phone just to see what's going on. So I did that. I opened up the Starlink app and there was no outage. I'm like, all right, something is going on here. That outage should have been seen on the app itself. It should have said there's an outage for 15 seconds or whatnot, but it didn't. So I knew at that point, the problem wasn't with the Starlink router. The problem was with something with my setup itself. So that's when we started doing a little bit of research. Now, just so you know, I create my own cables, okay? So every run that I do is a run that's specific to that run. So I don't have like, just runs of cables everywhere. So for example, this is a cat six cable that I created. And matter of fact, it was being used on the system itself. So what I did is I took my tester. Now you can purchase these on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. These things are invaluable. These are awesome. So that's all you have to do is take one end of the cable and stick it into one side and then the other end of the cable into the other. And then what we do is turn it on and we can watch the lights. I wonder if you can see that. It's kind of bright, I know. But do you see the lights are green and they're going in this pattern going up? Well, what it's doing is it's testing each wire in this cable, all right? 
testing wire one, two, three, four, five. If it's green, you know that the wire is working or that specific wire inside the cable is working. If you see it skip one, then you know that you have a problem with your cable. Now, even if you buy these cables instead of making them yourself, if you use one of these testers, you're gonna know if you have a bad cable and that's gonna be a really easy fix. You just order another cable and there you go. Well, I did this testing. I tested all of the cables and there was no problem. And I was looking at the actual unit itself and you know what, let's go over there. I'm gonna show you the problem. Now, obviously you read the title of the video, you know the problem ends up being the dongle or that adapter, but that's okay. I wanna actually show it to you so that you can check yours just in case you're having a similar problem with either sporadic outages or even slow speeds. And I'm gonna show you that in just a second. So let's go check that out. So as you can see here, this is the dongle down here at the bottom and on the wall, you can see a TP-Link managed switch. Now, I love this managed switch. If you do not have one, buy this switch. It is cheap, it is awesome, absolutely awesome. It allows you to be able to deal with all of your in and out traffic. Now, check this out. You see how we're green on this wire? Now, I put this temporary wire here just for testing. Now, we're green, we're blinking green. What that means is we have a gigabit connection between this dongle and that managed switch. If I take this wire, and I move it around a little bit, the light went out. Do you see how it's no longer green? It's completely out. What that means now is guys, we have no signal between the Starlink router and our managed switch. So right now we would be completely off. Now, if I jiggle it a little bit, now watch what happens guys. You see how it's blinking yellow? That is 100 base instead of 1000 base. So now it is actually doing extremely slow speeds once again, this is not only a full outage, but as of right now, we're seeing that it is currently a slow connection. So now if we pull it out and push it back in and wiggle it a little bit, we're green again. So now we have a gigabit connection. What a major difference that is, major difference. Once again, knowing what the problem is, I can go to Starlink technical support and tell them exactly what the issue is. There's no ands, ifs, or buts about it. This is what the problem is. And that is exactly what I do. Now this gets into customer service at this point. We know that there's a problem, all right? And we need to get Starlink to solve it. Do they solve it in a timely manner or do they not? Now, this is an issue. We've talked about this in the past. I said that Starlink's customer service was really good at the very beginning, and then it started getting progressively worse, and we started getting a lot of these boilerplate type of responses, and it just wasn't fun. I didn't like it, and I called them out on it. Well, this is how this went down, all right? I sent a message to Starlink on the 25th of April, and I said, I have a question. What do I need to do to get a new Ethernet adapter? The Ethernet adapter or dongle I purchased a few months ago is faulty. If you jiggle the Cat6 around, it will work. Let the cable go and it stops. Obviously, an internal wire connection problem. Thank you for taking care of this immediately. Please send tracking information for the replacement unit and an RMA so I can return the faulty one to you. I appreciate your time. Well, just less than an hour after sending this message to Starlink, I got something from Rodrigo. Now, Rodrigo says, replacement Ethernet adapter order placed. Wow, that's quick. That was only an hour. Then I got another message from Rodrigo and he said, hi, Joseph, thank you for asking. We have ordered you a replacement Ethernet adapter. You do not need to return the damaged one. We thank you and appreciate your support. Thank you, that's awesome. So I wrote back and said, thank you so much, Rodrigo. I truly appreciate your quick response. Might I ask how long will it take before it arrives or ships? Many blessings to you and your family. So he writes me right back, literally within minutes. He said, hi, Joseph, thank you so much for your response. We appreciate your patience. Unfortunately, we do not have an estimate shipping time. However, we have updated the priority on your order to help expedite it as much as possible. As soon as the item ships, you will be sent an email with your tracking information. Thank you for your support of Starlink and blessings to you and your family as well. Let us know if you have any other questions. Thank you. Now, just moments after that, I get another message from someone named Lorraine. Now, Lorraine writes, no problem, Joseph. 
we actually now have a scheduled ETA for your order. Please note, Starlink does not have expedited shipping, and this ETA is the earliest available for May 9th through May 15th. Remember those days, May 9th through May 15th. Should the schedule change, you will have the visibility within your account by logging in via a web browser at starlink.com. We appreciate all your patience. In the meantime, have a wonderful day. So what ended up happening, guys? What ended up happening? Well, on April 25th, the same day that I wrote in to Rodrigo originally, the item was shipped. And, and on Thursday, the 28th, it arrived. Three days later. Three days later, guys. Three days. So as we can see here, this has been happening over there at Starlink. Sometimes we're seeing technical support not knowing what other tech support is doing. Like one hand doesn't know what the other hand is doing to come together to wash itself. So we see Lorraine basically contradicting what Rodrigo said. And she's saying that we're going to get it between the 9th and the 15th. Rodrigo already said, hey, it already went out. So, but that's okay. That's all right. The main thing is here, I put the problem in on the 25th and the problem was resolved on the 25th and I received the unit three days later. Guys, there it is. All right. I've been away for a couple of days, so I haven't even opened it yet. I haven't even opened it. But I'm going to open it now just so you can see what it looks like. So if you have this problem, you know how to hopefully test it, hopefully fix it. Number one, test those wires. That's, that's very mission critical. Test those wires. So anyways, it comes with like this little card. It's literally hard, this card. I mean, there's nothing to it. You have two wires, plug them in. This is as straightforward as you're going to get. And this dongle, as I call it, looks like this. Very, very simple. One part goes into the router itself. The other part has your ethernet coming out of it. And the other hole here is where the actual antenna goes up out of the unit itself. If you do not have this, you will not have ethernet out of the Starlink router at all. If it's a generation two, if you have a generation one, well, you'll have this port, which is an ethernet port on the back. It's called an auxiliary port is what they call it on the back of your router itself. And you don't need this thing. Anyways, once again, Test all your cables, then from your cables, test your dongle. I've heard in the past that people have been having some problems with these dongles. When they solder these together, there's obviously a loose connection, some type of communication problem. And when you start jiggling it around, then it starts working. Either it doesn't work at all, like you saw, or if you jiggle it around, it'll drop down from gigabit down to 100 base T. Now. That is a big problem because once again, the speed difference between 100 base and 1000 base is like night and day. And that's why I was having not just outages, I was having slow speeds. And I'm like, God, why is Starlink all of a sudden going slower and slower? So if you're having slow speeds, this might be an issue. It could be. So you might want to check into this. It's something for you to check. Now, a couple of things that I would like to put out there to Starlink, the people over there at SpaceX, the guys that are running Starlink, I would say there's two things that all of us need and want. Number one, we need to get online chat so that we don't have to put these tickets in and then have to wait through this ticketing system a response back. I hate having to email an ISP back and forth. And most, I would say most, probably all ISPs have an online chat so that you can immediately, immediately have a response. That's number one. Number two, I would like to see in the not too distant future, a 24-7, 365 days a year, toll-free tech support line where you have someone that answers a phone call and they can walk you through what I'm walking you through, right? Oh, test this, jiggle that, test this, bypass that. Whatever it is, teach you, for example, how to reboot your generation two. If you don't know how to do that, well, I've taught you in another video. Check out, once again, this playlist, because the playlist is so, so important, because there's so many things that I've taught you guys that I think are very, very important. And these are the type of things that technical support would teach you. I'm, once again, learning. I'm not a guru. I'm learning, and I'm teaching you as I go. And I think that a lot of you guys are appreciating it, and I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. 
Matter of fact, just today, moments ago, we hit 40,000 subscribers. I'll probably do a video tomorrow just about that, but I want to just share that with you because I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll probably say thank you again tomorrow. Anyways. So if you enjoyed this content, even a little bit, throw it a thumbs up. Also share it with your community, share it with your friends, family, colleagues, whoever, share it with Reddit, maybe a Facebook group, anyone that wants information about Starlink, they either have Starlink or they are looking to get Starlink, send them our way so that we can build this channel. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and click this bell icon over here. So when I go live or when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately and click all. So this way, all notifications will come to you. If you don't do that, you won't get notifications. YouTube, I don't know. I don't know. It's a problem. Finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. The merch is there. You can pick that up there. Also, tea cups, tea time cups, as well as Life After Adobe, cutting the cord. Ah, oh, I love this. Anyways, you can pick that up there also, as well as my teas. Anyways, guys, many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Love you all.